Here's a quick look at your coronavirus headlines this Tuesday. Johnson & Johnson has paused its COVID vaccine clinical trial after a participant came down with an unexplained illness. According to a spokesperson, the person is being evaluated by an independent safety monitoring board as well as doctors within the company. A new study confirms for the first time a patient in the U.S. tested positive for two distinct COVID-19 infections within 48 days. It is the fifth confirmation of reinfection worldwide. Researchers say second infections can be more severe. International soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo tested positive for the coronavirus. He most recently played for Portugal's national team Sunday. He also played last week against Spain. Officials say Ronaldo's results prompted another round of tests for the rest of the Portugal squad. As COVID-19 cases continue to make headlines, Emory University is helping to provide insight into the path to return to normal life. As our Bo Beth Yates tells us today, university officials gave an update on the virus and what the vaccine trial halt means in the effort to stop the spread. Emory officials say illnesses during a vaccine trial are to be expected. That's why they say the fight against COVID must be a multi-prong approach. The rates are still far too high. James Curran with Emory University says more needs to be done to get COVID-19 cases under control. I've been encouraged that the hospitalizations and numbers of cases uh, have gone down from their from their high peak of, of, of several weeks ago, but they're still too high. According to the Georgia Department of Health, there are currently more than 332,000 COVID-19 cases in the state. As part of the effort to tackle the pandemic, Emory is one of multiple organizations working to come up with a vaccine, and officials say we should not be alarmed at the recent halt of the Johnson Johnson vaccine trial. A randomized trial involving tens of thousands of people are going to have people who have things happen to them. I know some of the things are obviously uh, not related to the vaccine or placebo, but some of them might be. But while officials remain optimistic about the vaccine trials, many in the community have mixed feelings. If I can play my part and have like help out for the older generation, like I'd hope when I was older, the younger, healthier people would do that for me. So. And we're talking about fast tracking a vaccine in about eight months that normally takes eight to 10 years to develop. I don't really know if I'm comfortable with that. As for Curran, he says the vaccine should be one of several items used in the fight against the pandemic. We need all the tools we can get. A mask itself is not going to be enough. A vaccine is not going to be enough. In addition, Emory officials say we should continue to social distance and wear masks if we want to see COVID-19 cases continue to decline. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.